Hey guys, this is Janie with the Lee Kempner House. We are back with another midweek post trying to get caught up on all of the work going on at this house. I apologize about the sound quality at the beginning. It was raining so hard, but let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm down in the basement. I don't know if you can even hear me. It is raining so hard outside. It is not the best day around here rain is coming in several new places. We're about a month away from getting our new roof, but I'm a little worried about a couple of the new leaks I saw where they are in relation to the new roof going in, so we'll just have to see what happens. But the bigger problem is that the plumber came and left. I got up early, early and drove down here to meet the plumber. They were supposed to wrap up the water lines and set the toilets and get our bathroom functioning. In two days, we have 50 women here for a fundraising event, and we have no the toilet, and they still don't have the right parts, so they left. So that just leaves us tomorrow to get things done. So I'm uh, just not, not pleased right now. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm just going to do what I know how to do, and that fix problem that I can work on and get it done and if they get the bathrooms working we need walls and doors up so i scrounged around down here and found this old door and i think it's interesting you can see i'm in like five four and you can see where this door is it's a very short door and that's because when they raised the island they put some dirt in this basement to bring it up closer to the new level of the island and when they did that they just took a saw and cut the bottoms off everything and they didn't do it very well. It's very, very crooked. I'm not going to try to straighten that up, but I am going to try to straighten up this side over here because I'm not going to bother to set this like a real door. I'm just going to throw a couple of hinges in here, screw it into this, and just let it be like a stall door on a bathroom. Put the stuff over here and put a latch on it and call it done. But I think if I raise it a few inches off the ground, it kind of looks different. It will work and it will be functional and it's something I can do. So this side is very, very crooked. I'm gonna take my crappy battery circular saw that I have, put this on the saw horses and see if I can straighten this up some before I do it. Otherwise, it's not going to open and close well. So I'm going to get busy. Okay, the rain has slowed down a little bit, so it's not quite as noisy. And I've got my door straightened out on the side. I have marked where I think I want my hinges to go, and I'm going to put the hinges on the door before I stand it up. And this is about the spot where at home in Houston, I'm sure the hair on the back of my husband's neck is standing up right now because this is not the correct way to do it but it will work and we will have a door and that is what we need right now so he he has to do everything the exact right way and i'm just sometimes about getting it done and right now it just has to get done so we'll see if this works i'll show it to you whether it does or not okay Got them in, let me pack all this stuff up and then set the door up and see what happens. I'm going to need, I'm going to need my screws, I'm going to need this. Alright, and I've already got some 2x4s laying on the ground because I'm not going to put the door tight to the ground. Like I said, I'm going to lift it up a little bit and leave a space top and bottom. tight in this hall with the saw horses. But I hope I put them on the right side, or the side I wanted them on. See, and I was actually hanging the door upside down. So it's 
basically going to go like that and just shut on the outside of the 2x4 instead of having a door frame. And I measured the hinges so that they would fit where the spacer is, otherwise the screws would be going into nothing. Let me screw a couple in and see if it works. that. Let's see what happens. Alright. Ta-da! As we say around here, we have a door. And that will be serviceable. Take this off, it's bent and broken. I have to put another piece of plywood up here and screw my plywood up on the outside over there that I painted the other day and move a light in here. So that's pretty easy. What may be hard is getting this slide bolt off. My light is off. This cute little slide bolt, I'm hoping I can straighten it out and we'll reuse it. I'll show it to you when I get it off. I'm going to have the problem that we had on the windows. Even my small screwdriver, the slot is narrow and it's not going in, so let me go see if I can find something smaller. Okay, I brought a whole assortment with me, and we've talked about four. These slotted ones are fine, but some of the modern screwdrivers are wider than the slots. And the old screwdrivers, oh, that, that'll work. The old screwdrivers, the metal was a better quality. A lot of these will actually break the tip of the screwdriver. I still need to bring a bucket of water down here and give this a good scrub. It's pretty gross. Look how cute. It's got the little brass base and then the knob, but it's it got bent. So let's see if I can straighten that out. But that'll clean up and be real pretty and we'll put it back on another door. And it's got this cute little keyhole cover. That screwdriver's too big. I'll just leave it for now. But anyway, that was in the way of the door fitting tight. Now it does, and I can put a latch. So that worked pretty well. I just need to get my plywood up, like I said. That's an easy up, but I'm going to go measure the other bathroom door and see if I can find another one of these old doors to do the same thing over there. Just because this is a little more time consuming job, I'd like to get it done today in case I have a crunch tomorrow. Okay, this is at 32 and we're lucky. This is just by chance because we had room, we framed these up for a 30 inch door. Normally bathrooms are just 24, but I like to have as big a door as possible. You don't know what you may need to do in the future. And these doors just happen to be 33 inches, so they're perfect. Let me show you where they are. Come through the mess. So 
going way back here in the stuff and I had to pull this out. Of course, this was in front of them. This is our temporary kind of pre-hung steel door that will go in the back there until we get custom doors made. But here's my stash of doors. They go all the way back to that outside wall and they're double decker and have all kinds. But this, fortunately, oh, that is an old elevator door because look here, that's the lockout mechanism. Oh, I bet that was the one that was here in the basement because that's the safety lockout mechanism. So I won't use that, but there's one back here behind it and it is three feet. So I'll move these two doors. Look, look how short this one is. <laughs> That they cut. It's not even six feet tall. But it's got glass in it, so we don't want that for a bathroom. Plus, it's too skinny. So I'm going to go back. Oh, and look at the pretty doorknob on that and the door plates. I may have to take those home and clean that up. But I'm going to set the phone down and dig that guy out. So this is kind of fun. You can see how it's made. See how the two pieces fit together? And on top, it's made like the windows that McNatt showed us. These are little wedges that go in to tighten this up and they've backed out. I'm just going to tap them back in. But this will work. It's filthy. I may see if it's, well, it's stopped raining. I may take it outside and get the hose and scrub brush and scrub this one down. All right, now that I've got this one outside, you can see it a little better. And the other doorknob on the back is broken, unfortunately. That's kind of a sharp edge. You have to be careful. I don't know what that is. That needs to come off. But it looks square, at least. I don't have to trim it or do anything to it. Whoever cut this one down was a little more careful. So that's good. So I've got a rag. I'm going to go grab the hose and give this a scrub. It's a gross day, but this is why it's good to be here when things like this happen. So I thought the rain was hitting the door and coming in underneath, but it's actually coming from around this pipe where it goes into the house. And that's okay because once everything's hooked up, we can get some pond foam and seal that up and make that water tight. But you can see if it's raining hard, water probably got up that high and just ran right in there. But now we know. That's my safety chair. Keep people from stepping in the hole. can't really seal that hole up until it quits raining and things dry out. So in the interim, we are expecting another big band of rain to come through. So I need to dig a channel and move this water away to keep any more of it from going into the basement. It's not really hurting anything, but it's making a huge mess in there that I have to spend my time cleaning up. So here we go out in the rain, digging as you've seen many, many times before. It's very messy, but it's actually beneficial to do it this way while it's raining and while I can see the water and I can see if what I'm doing actually makes a difference. And it's a little counterintuitive because I'm digging back kind of towards the house, but actually I'm trying to channel this water over to that collection pit where we have a pipe that runs under the driveway over into our retention pond drainage area. So again, it's just a lot easier to see that water flow, know if I have it deep enough, and know if I'm actually dropping that water level up against the house. So this is how I'm spending my day. I was glad to see that water started flowing pretty quickly and I didn't have to spend a huge amount of time digging a deep trench. This is just a temporary fix. We 
will seal that up and in the future we won't care if water ponds right up against the house where this pipe goes in but we'll also implement our long-term fix that we've been doing in the yard which is regrading and this area hasn't been done right here in the driveway next to the house so once that gets done hopefully water will flow away even faster and we won't need this type of temporary solution we'll have that permanent fix in place For people who think home restoration is fun, this is the reality of it. It's just usually gross, hard work. But for some reason, I do find it fun, and I know many of you feel the same. There are so many old home enthusiasts who don't mind doing work like this, thank goodness, because so many of these old homes need saving. And it is rewarding, and I do love it, but... On days like today, it's just something you have to slog through and get done. So I'm going to leave you guys with this midweek video. It's been exciting because there's been so much work going on at the house, but we're really backlogged on getting the work out to you because there's just so much time in a weekly video. So we may have a few more of these midweek rolls. So Thanks for watching and please subscribe and turn on your notifications if you don't already follow us. We put a regular video out every Sunday or we try to around 1130 Central Time. So we hope to see you here at the Lee Kipner House in Galveston. And remember we are open for tours for those of you in the area. Check our website. We post a banner every week with the hours that will be open that week. We would love to see you here in person so until next sunday thanks for watching ground rats